Chinatown, Chinatown Festival. Like last year, it's raining a bit. Last year it rained a lot. So it's bigger than last year for sure. Oh yeah, right. I think forget about the pandemic because you know downtown east side did nothing. Sure they took the jab, but uh, we had a lot of vacancies after that. last year but then again you know the pandemic meant for me fighting Nazi ideology that's all it meant for me so I was busy you know and plus I had a, a newborn puppy almost you know three weeks or six weeks old close enough so I was busy training my puppy and we didn't have the big shit show as bad out our window and in our door but this is beautiful this is a block away, or a couple blocks away from the shit show. Even for a livable Vancouver, oh fuck. You guys are making us suffer. Anybody that, that doesn't support a clean downtown East End is making us suffer. And it'll bite them in the ass because they're just gonna grow more. If you can't put a lid on it now. Hey, guess where I live? Downtown East End. Oh, all right. Uh, you should check out my Debbie Hellion and the Apopolix frickin' um, channel. See how they made us live. We're second class citizens to drug addicts. One I'm of so our persons that. in uh, a wheelchair was stabbed. No, it's, they have a weapons story. in those uh, frickin' tents, you know? Yeah. Those aren't uh, poor people. The poor people are in the building. You know, those people have which, a three thousand to six thousand dollar drug habit. What's your dog's name? This is Daisy. She's also a YouTuber on my Debbie Hellion channel. You are sweet. And I made it on the Daily Hive, my oh, YouTube channel. You know, great. so That's no, it great. wasn't great. I should have never been living in this conditions because they're going to be pushing all me chrome. What is it? BS4? Do you know, do you know what? And, and you see my shit show? I didn't the, even get a jab. I'm probably the least interesting candidate you'll ever interview because I agree with you on, on all of that. Oh, no, at least you don't make me mad. My heart's not palpitating talking to you, and I have voted for you guys always in North do you Vancouver. you support the Greens? I did in North Vancouver. I used to live in uh, the district of North Vancouver for eight years. I let my, even though my landlord didn't support you guys, he let me put your signs oh, on hey, our freaking really, yard. Important. Not anymore. Are you sure? Who are you, are you vote sure? for in October? That's the real question. I don't know. These guys, we got the bad guys want to mow the, cut the grass in all the parks, mow it all down so that we don't have any biodiversity in the city. You know, I think it's time for bold climate action. That's why I'm uh, Well, climate change to me... What do you think? Yeah. Well, climate change means to me that the Luciferians are mocking all of us because the climate has changed from the beginning of time. Of course and so, it is. You know? But never, and but and never in the 70s, quickly. I was promised an ice age, you know? Then it turned into global warming. That nobody, didn't appear, you know? Nobody promised and you anything. You can look at the 30s at the Dust Bowls. Give me a freaking break. You know what? I'm the least interesting candidate yeah. to uh, interview. You know, I, I would never promote myself if I was a green candidate. Oh, well, no, I'd greens, be saying, hey, I'm Debbie Hellion in the apocalypse. If you want to change, to I'll fight for you. Bold action against climate You know, change. I want to be the prime viewers, pooper of you know Canada. Who's fighting for you. Let's kick this I'm prime pooper out. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Nice Debbie. to meet you.